Welcome back to the New Music Alliance Radio Hour. I'm Mark Ramon and joined today by Violet Hostor and David Sokol, our DJ Emeritus. <laughs> and you just heard Annie Abigail with Home, and we started off with Dustin Labara, Action. Dustin mm-hmm. is from Hartford, Connecticut. Mm-hmm. And he, he told me he's really proud of this and uh, another song, Graveyard, on his uh, Pieces EP that just came out recently. Yeah, just came out last month. I'm very into this. This is like a solo project done right. I love it. Sounds almost like if REM was being arranged in the early 80s, it has that sort of a retro but modern thing going on with it. It's really cool. I really, really like the way it floats and the way it goes yeah very nice melodic feel you know and I, as i was as i was thinking before it's just i love the uh the song structure with that with that guitar solo at the end it just really it just works you know it's it's kind yeah, of cool, yeah but, yeah but I, I i think it's really smart his guitar skills are really crisp on this song mm-hmm. and, and overall i think is this whole ep is much more polished than his previous releases Really? Yeah, it, it was a really tight EP. When I was listening to it, I was like, ooh, that's good. That's really catchy. So I really have to choose which one I like the best, but they're all quite strong. Really good EP. Yeah. So Annie Abigail uh, from sort of the Western Massachusetts area, Home. This track is fascinating and weird and wild. And uh, there's a lot to say. There's a lot to say. Uh, She's a self-described audio witch who's been mastering tracks for local artists for years and years and years. Real, a real expert at mastering, actually. She's done work with Sodata. She's done work with Austin James and the Nomads. She's done work with Dr. Arjingona. She's done work with Editrix. She's done work with Lexi Weege. Hmm. That's so incredible producer. Wow. Incredible producer. She's good. And this tracks off the album's Pace Eater, which just came out uh, just last week. It's the whole album is a trip to listen to. I went through the whole thing and was just completely blown away. It's catchy, but really experimental and incredibly resonant. Obviously, I love to see other trans artists doing good work. Hello, I'm trans. I love this stuff. Uh, But the whole album just has this sense of satirical, melancholy, just a lust for life in the grim and the beautiful. For whatever that means. Yeah, no, I I love what you're saying. It makes perfect sense to me. It's like it's like dark but fleetingly optimistic at the same time. There's something about this particular track that really really hit me. Yeah, this one's definitely more in the sort of experimental electronic jazz zone. She gets pretty rocking at times too. It's quite something. Hmm. Nice paste eater. Yeah. Released last week. Yes, it is. So we're gonna round things off a little more singer songwriter a little more folky, a little less intense. <laughs> but good. still really quite excellent, yeah. Let's start things off with Hugh Blind doing Half Full. <laughs> 